As at 1999, when we returned to democracy, women made up 3.1% of the House of Representatives and about 2.8% of the Senate. Presently, women hold about 3.4% of the House of Reps and maybe about roughly about 6.8% of the Senate or thereabouts. Women don't have the required numbers to push legislation through, even if they wanted to. I worked in um, the National Assembly in the last assembly, and when the bill, uh, the Constitution Amendment Bill for Affirmative Action, in line with the Convention on Elimination on Discrimination against women came up. The women did lobby extensively. The speaker even called for a second vote, but enough votes were not secured for that amendment to scale through. So it's not because women are not trying. It's not because those who are in political office are not putting in efforts. It's simply because we don't have enough numbers. And I don't think that Nigerian women are calling for inclusion simply because they're women. We describe democracy as a government of the people, for the people, and by the people. Women are people too. Women make up 47.1% of Nigeria's voter register. We come out in numbers and we vote, we support candidates. I don't think, um, we're not seeking inclusion just based on gender. We're seeking inclusion because gender mainstreaming will go a long way to ensure that we design and we implement policies that would work for everybody, women inclusive. Um, regarding youth inclusion, we are trying, during the last elections, um, we, the, there was a, um, uh, an organization set up to try to um, create that culture of um, crowdfunding for political office, um, people, or for young people aspiring to political office, because we realized that, um, you know, um, finances were an issue. And um, as um, the Honorable Chairman also rightly noted, in countries like France, we have young people stepping up to the place. But then I don't think that we can fully compare the political system in a country like France with the one that we run here in Nigeria. And um, in as much as, um, well, some of us were able to raise funds from amongst friends, from amongst families, the thing is, Political office, leadership should not be the sole preserve of privileged young people. Nigeria has a, 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 a large percentage of people who live in poverty or who are struggling to climb out of the depths of poverty. They should not be barred from aspiring to leadership positions simply because they do not have the means to. And on our own part, as young people in this country, we are trying to cultivate a culture of crowdfunding for political office, for those that we believe in, whom we know, have what it takes to get to office and represent our interests and protect our interests, to fight for this country's unity and stand up for what is right. So it's a challenge that we are also working on. We're not asking for inclusion just because we're young or just because we're women or just because there are people with disabilities in this country. We're asking for inclusion because democracy should be fully inclusive, because nobody should be left behind, because we have to push for progress together, and because when we work together, that's the only way that we can achieve the necessary progress.